Q Brooms, coming straight out of Louisville, Kentucky, you know what I'm saying? And I'm out here supporting the mighty Midwest Music Edition, Sense of Yerman. Yeah, 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 Cincinnati edition of the Mighty Midwest Music Showcase. Welcome, welcome. What's up, man? Um, What's up? Definitely want to start off by asking, what are you currently working on? Um, I actually got this tape that I've been working on for the last couple of months. I want to say like eight months for real. That's really why I've been low, man. Um, it's called Boondog. And the whole vision for it is just, just going back to the old school way of looking at things. You know what I'm saying? I remember back in the day when we was just eating cereal, watching Boondocks, me and a couple niggas, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Everybody chilling, everybody having a good time. So I want to bring it back to that time. Let us vibe with it. And have a good time, man. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, and being from the Midwest, uh, me as an artist, I understand you got to be versatile uh, because we're not the South, we're not the East, and we're not the West. And I mean, hey, Toronto, uh, the North is even, you know, coming in. You got to so. be yourself around here, bro. That's, that's really what it comes down to. At the end of the day, we not judge off our style because we really don't have one. We judge off who we are, what we're doing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That hard work that you put in now just shows how hard of a worker you are. Everything, everything you do, it reflects on how hard of an artist you is. Definitely. You gotta really prove we're artists out here. That's what it means to me. Definitely, very yeah, understandable. Yeah, yeah. And as a Midwest artist, what do you feel like you can bring to the Midwest? Um, me personally, I know I'm pretty chill myself, but I just like the fact that I can vibe, man. Um, I feel like so often people is just trying to rush into shit. People trying to be who they ain't. I'm gonna chill and tell you what it is. Definitely, definitely understandable. Uh, what what do you feel like growing up on your growth as an artist? Yeah. What artists helped influence your music that you make now? Um, to be honest, it was just more of what they went through as artists that influenced me more than anything. Just watching like people that I always looked up to, whether it be T.I., Drake, Jay-Z, anybody coming up, you know what I'm saying? Even my cousins back in the day that used to be in the garage, just watching them grow as artists was just dope to me, you know what I'm saying? You hear one song and he kill you with this and that and that, and then all of a sudden he come back, he kill you with that and bring something else to the table, you feel me? Just watching that growth, seeing artists not only around me, but in the upper echelons, made me just wanna say, let's go get it, you know what I'm saying? Very understandable, very understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see you was in there with some of your homies. Um, is it called La Familia? Yeah, La Familia. Could, could yeah, you explain to me what that means? Um, really? It's just, it's just when you finally understand where you at, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you always want to be around people that's not only seeing that positive path, but also feeling like family, man. We got each other like we brothers. And that's, that's what I want to be a part of. I want to be a part of a, a brotherhood. And me and Noah have been rocking for a minute. Me and Zavi. 28, 28, 28, 28, 05, you hear me? We, we just out here doing our thing, bro, and I feel like we just gonna keep working until ain't no more work left, you feel me? Very understandable, you gotta keep grinding yeah, 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 already. Yeah. Over the past few years, you you have artists that's been called culture vultures, they haven't been making their own music. Right. Um, do you feel it matters as a rapper to actually write your own bars, or do you think it's simply all about a check? Um, sometimes the way I look at it is it depends on the artist. Like, if that man wasn't real from the jump, why, how can we expect him to be real after that? Like, I'm not saying that it's fake to have other people writing your stuff, but when it's about the money, it's about the money, man. When it's about the culture, it's about the culture. You can't, you can't go comparing the two. He do it for his kids. He do it for the check. It is what it is. Definitely understandable. And last but not least, here at the Mighty Midwest Music Showcase, we do something called called the Fast Four, and pretty much it's four questions. Um, that I'm gonna ask you, and you're just right. gonna tell me whatever comes to the top of your head. Okay, so, okay, okay. you know, we're gonna try to bring out the most truthful. Right, like you said, it. man, yeah. you gotta be honest. If you wasn't real at first, then you're gonna be real now. Bring it in, so, bring the truth it in. coming out, man. I so, like to hear it. it's a lot of pressure, man. Right, Favorite right. Midwest city? Favorite Midwest city, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, of course. The next song that's gonna be played in your car? Um, Basketball, I never see the numbers. It's hiding numbers. Come holler at me. Mm hmm. Your favorite local spot, food spot? Uh, I'm a Spinelli's guy, so only because at late night, at late night, at late night, tip me on me. You hear me? <laughs> you need to hit one producer and one artist. Who you working with? Uh, me personally, I'm going to hit up Kanye, even though we feel like he, he's in a slump. And I'm probably going to hit up J. Cole, man. I'm just going to 
make something legendary, you feel me? Thank you so much, QB. No problem. For the Mighty Midwest Music Showcase.